As you know, today Governor Ivey issued a mask mandate, which basically says uh, that we are required to have a face covering uh, to be worn in, pub in public when in close contact with other people. Specifically, it stipulates that Alabamians must wear a mask when within six feet of a person uh, from another household, in an indoor space open to the public, uh, in a vehicle operated by a transportation service, or an outdoor public space where 10 or more people are gathered. So let's talk about how uh, we as a church are going to respond to this. Um, effective today and uh, at least through July 31st when the order expires, we are going to abide by this. And we're going to ask you when you are on our church campus for a meeting, whether it is worship or Sunday school, that you wear a mask. Um, now I know what you're thinking because many of you uh, have already read the press release for yourself, and you you know that there's a couple of loopholes built in. It says there's exceptions for people with certain medical conditions or disabilities. And then it goes on to say that there's exceptions for communicating with an audience and certain necessary job functions. We'll get to that as well. But the big one here is another category for exemptions includes activities such as voting or religious worship, although wearing a face mask for those is strongly encouraged. So you may be looking at that and thinking, well, we've got a loophole. We don't have to abide by, abide by this. And technically, you would be right. But let me tell you a couple of things that have happened today, just uh, if I can share my heart for a moment. One of them is to let you know that two people in our own church family uh, were tested COVID positive. Um, over the past couple of days. Uh, one of them is Cody Hensley, our pastor to students and families. The other person, when I talked to this person, one of the first things out of their mouth was, I am so sorry, I feel terrible um, that somebody else might have gotten infected because of me. And so as a pastor, I don't want anyone to, to have to deal with that guilt, to have to feel that burden. I don't want that on my shoulders, and I don't want that on your shoulders either. So for that reason, we're simply going to ask, if you don't like this, if you're opposed to it, if you are uncomfortable wearing a mask, then please stay home and worship uh, through YouTube. Jesus taught his followers at the Sermon on the Mount that if somebody forces you to, to carry a pack for them one mile, go the extra mile, carry it too. And I think we can apply that to the governor's mandate. If the governor has said uh, there could be an exception for religious services, that doesn't mean that, that we shouldn't go the extra mile for the sake of our neighbor, for the sake of our fellow uh, church family members. So on Sunday morning, as far as the, um, the communicating with an audience, you'll see Mike and you'll see the praise team uh, leading worship with their masks off but you will also see them as soon as they're, they're done in that role, putting their mask back on. You'll see me preaching with a mask off, but as soon as I step off the platform, the mask is gonna come back on. Sometimes we can ask, what does the law require? And base our response on that. But instead of asking, what does the law require? Could we agree to ask the question, what does love require? And act accordingly, based on our love for each other and our love for our neighbor. Thanks for listening. Um, I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Um, I look forward to seeing half of your face on Sunday. And I want you to know that behind this mask, there will be a smile. I love you guys. God bless. Be safe.